Today on the North American Journeyman, it's the two-legged final to find out if we can lift silverware again and finish the entire second half of the season invincible. Here we are in the sea of green, speckled with yellow a couple times. We play marathon today back to back. And the World Cup squad is needs to be decided as well, so we might have to step away for that because that might take a little bit of time. The preliminary squad, they allow me to pick up to 55 players. I think I picked like 38 and then narrow it down to 30, 26 rather. And I pretty much know who I want, but... Uh, Lagos is still injured. There was a week off in between, so we've had a little time to rest, but we've actually just picked up some injuries, like Zuniga has a little bit of one. Lakayo is still kind of out, failed his fitness test. So we'll put him on the bench, but they're not going to play. So Reyes is in. He's really the only one who's not fully fit. The other ones are pretty well close to near fit. We were able to extend loans for next year, which is fantastic. For Maradiaga, Garcia, not Rodas. They didn't want to loan to a divisional rival, whoever he's from. Um, Figueroa? Yeah, Figueroa back in again. And Rocha. Reyes? No, I didn't even go in for Reyes. But all of them outside of Rodas. So that's awesome. So we're pretty much the same team, and we can just kind of improve on some positions. <coughs> Goalkeeper. <coughs> or, yeah, leave your mark. I mean, our goalkeeper has been fine, okay? He's been okay. But he's 32, might even be 33 now. And he's... um. He's taking up a foreign player slot, and there's only four of those. When we get to the Caribbean Cup and stuff like that, it might not matter, but I don't really like the idea of keeping players around that are foreign players just to play in those kind of competitions. It doesn't usually work out too well. Because you want your team vibing together. All right. Marathon. I thought about scheduling a friendly because some of the fitness levels on the bench are pretty bad, but with so many injuries, it would have just ended up tiring out some players that probably need a bit of rest. But we don't look super sharp at the moment. So we'll just do one of these. Two yellows on the wings. Here we go. Acosta. Crossed. Holds it in with a weird little flick. Falls back to Flores. Nunez. What can he find? Look how many numbers they have in the box. Good cross, though. Ends up at the feet of Reyes. I don't know if it took a deflection, but their goalkeeper tried to come out. Get a fingertip on it, but it just floats through. And Reyes grabs the goal here. Nunez tries to do a little cute little turn. Oh, he just missed it. He's just like, can I, can I? Ah, uh, no. No, I can't. Not that he could have done much. The positioning of Reyes there was excellent. Here we go. Let's double him up in the first half. Finds Garcia in the corner. What can he do? Acosta now? Iancu. Good effort first time. I like it. Marathon has zero shots in 40 minutes. like to see that. They're playing this... I've played against this formation a lot. I'm football manager, and it's... easy to beat. 
in my experience. I mean, I've I've been winning a lot since I've played FM24. Let's be real. I mean, I'm playing in Dominican Republic and Honduras, so it's not like it's super hard to dominate those leagues, but still. Every time I run into this formation with Silesia, Denmark played that formation and we shouldn't have really competed with them, but we beat them. Drew them one time. They did smash us the first ever time we played, but... Anyways. Alright, let's change. Right when I do that, highlight comes in. That's fine. Let's just get rid of those. And let's think about... Ryan Garcia's not doing it. Vargas isn't mad at me anymore. He really wants to play over here. He's finally kind of figuring out how to play Mazzala. Anybody else? Romero up top for Chiotti? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a good idea. Unless Chiotti scores right here. Then cancel, cancel, cancel. Keep him in the game. Flores, what can he do? Yanku. Reyes finishes it off, though. Good. Falls to Reyes. He's staying in the game. He's just moving over to the right side. Go produce from over there. Yanku's shot inside of the post. Might even hit the back of the goalkeeper. Boom. Yeah, just deflected off the defender, I think. And then maybe Pineda got a finger on it, or he just didn't know anything about what was going on. But we're up 2-0. In the away leg in the final, and they only have one shot. Yeah. Martinez has played two kind of iffy games in a row. Racha is coming back next year. Benavidez. We own Benavidez. He's requested a transfer because I wasn't playing him enough. He's not good enough. And Iancu is just, like, always fit. He can play, like, 10, 15 games in a row, and I don't have to sub him out almost ever. We do try and rest him here and there, but... All right, let's hold on to this. 2-0 would be way better for a post header. Garcia's in a good spot, though. Sanchez flaps around out it. He's not going to save that one. It's 2-1. Marathon's first shot on target. Indeed it is. And now they have an attacking free kick in the dangerous area through Cruz. Takes it just over the crossbar. Come on, boys. Our center backs actually aren't doing too well. Rodas is a good backup. Bring him in. Do I have one more sub? I think so. I can count him here. I do have one more. Just a late, late, late sub. Yeah, Zuniga, don't get hurt. Well, 2-1's okay. We're going home, so I'll take the result here. It is finished 2-1. Does it? A little, little added time on to added time there. Okay. Yeah, we weren't at our best, but we got it done. And I brought in the striker. Probably shouldn't have the backup. I guess that's the stadium that we played in. All right, it's just a couple days, so. Oh, something did happen, by the way. Maybe I could find it. Um, the Saprisa job became available again. So I applied. Extremely impressed. Top candidate. 
I said slightly different things. I didn't say I wasn't going to coach Honduras anymore. And look who they picked up. So they picked up a former Honduran coach, who's the coach of Montagua, but had been out of the game for a little while. They picked up the Platensi coach. That's who we beat in the final. Now they got this Jamaican fellow. And this is what he's been doing in the closing stage. And that's who Saprisa decided to uh, take ahead of me for the second straight time. Oh, but I got him to agree to allow me to take a coaching course, finally. Last time I asked, they didn't even respond for some reason. But we're finally studying for our second coaching course, so our manager can get a little bit better. That's probably, honestly, the thing that's not allowing me to get that kind of job. But that... Oh, this former player, who's like a D-mid, but we don't play a D-mid. I have staff available, but we're driving the balance down like I like to do because I spend so much money on staff. By blocking it, I'm spending 30000 on staff and only 20000 on player salaries. So a two to three ratio, two-thirds ratio that I prefer spending on staff because I really want to spend a lot of money on staff. Staff is very important. Um, hopefully, yeah, it's the game before the picking the team. So let's let's get in here. We'll hold off on the work the ball in the box. Maradiaga is suspended. It's okay. Rodas can come in. Reyes is suspended. That's annoying. Vargas can play this position. He's better at inverted. It says he's better as winger. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Yanku. Where did when did Yanku pick up an injury? I didn't even see that one. He's just playing. He's not doesn't stand a chance of missing a World Cup, so I don't know where these injuries came in from. Ramirez isn't super fit. Oh, boys, we might have uh, issues here. Sander, I guess, can come in on the bench. Sabion, Ramos, no. No, this is our young center mid who might have some potential, who's broken something. Broke his lower leg. I mean, Lagos isn't ready. Vargas likes this position, though. It's where he prefers to play. So we'll start out this way. Zuniga can start? No, Garcia definitely starts. Zuniga doesn't really know the left side. Garcia does, though. He learned it fast, too. So maybe him if we want it. But I think this is what we go with. Costa's a little tired. Kill Fox isn't ready at all. I'd like to have one of my left backs, one of my outside backs match fit. Are we going to bottle this last game of this invincible second half of the season? Forget, yeah, just, okay, what? They usually like that one. Stressed. Maybe they know something. Are we not ready to make this happen? Have I been too, too distracted? As we walk through the closed door out onto the pitch, the Royal Society looking to double up their silverware under Captain Nellis's first season in charge. Here we go. Let's extend this lead. Put these worries to rest. Ionku, beautiful ball to Vargas. Pineda saw the future there and just snags it. And they're launching it down the field. Yonku's got it, though. Good. Here we go. Let's build. Flores. Garcia. What can he find? Lots of space in the middle. Yonku just rips a shot. Pineda gets a foot or a hand to it, and it careens up into the top of the net. How far out was this shot, and how low and powerful was this thing? Wow. Look at this. He's like, you know what? Take it. Boom. He bounces off his knee. He 
Yonku's not injured. Despite what you may have heard, Yonku's just fine. Let's close this thing out. Cruise. Whew. All right, they have the possession. Apparently we're struggling with their counterattack. That remains to be seen. I do like doing this against this formation, though. We'll just change that up real quick. We do counter press, so... Probably because both of my outside backs are supportive roles. The only defensive roles I have are the two center backs. But they only have these three. My guess is that these are inverted, so... Anyways, here we go. Free kick. Who's taking this one? Is that Flores? It's usually Yonku. Decides to let Flores have a go at it. And the header, though. Oh, Martinez. The double poster. Falls to Rodas. We can't finish it off. A couple chances go begging there. We're firmly in control with one half to go. The Royal Society. Can it be invincible? Martinez playing another bad game, though. Garcia. Not quite there from Garcia. Vargas is actually playing pretty bad out there on the wing. He's not really a national team level player, so. If there's not a reason, I do like the idea to work the ball in the box. We can get rid of this. They can have a little more freedom as well, and we'll get off that. I do like the idea working it in the box, trying to get, because we're dominant. Not possession wise. If I see like 70% possession, then I'll go positive. But right now we're just trying to close this thing out. Crossed in. Vargas is there. Header down and in. 2 0, 4 1 on aggregate. The impenetrable, unbeatable, impossible Royal Society has won the opening stage is about to win the closing stage. Let's praise. Let's close out. After this highlight. He's offside. Flag raised. Nice header down, though. The marathon under 20s is offside. Not whoever that player was. I still need to input my picture for my manager sprite or whatever. That's a good effort from them. Okay, let's go cautious then. And don't worry about that. Just do whatever. Close it out. Cost is totally dead. Kill Fox. Um, who else? Rocha can come in. We'll do this. Leave Martinez in. Keep the result intact, boys. And first tick. They have no shots on target. They've got a couple good little opportunities, but. Pena driving through the middle. Good tackle from Rodas, but he's there through on Cruz. He's a little wide. Here comes across from Nunez, though. 
and it's over the goal. Everyone is complacent. Three more subs I can make. Yanku is totally dead. We'll bring in Romero. Slow roll, he's in. Close this game out. Pack Stadium. Maybe we start building this thing up, huh? Build up this fan base. Martinez trying a little shot. Yeah, he's a little frustrated right now. He's not playing too great. Let's bring in that other center back that never really gets to play. Figueroa, he might end up playing a lot more. Devin Garcia, I don't want you getting injured. Everybody else is probably fine for now. Might bring in Nunez late. No, no, Nunez can rest. He's fine. Eighty eighth minute or eighty ninth minute. That wasn't far away at all. Sanchez tries to pop, misses. All right, one more sub. Who wants to come in? Brian Garcia can come out. We'll bring in Zuniga for Garcia. We'll waste all the time. You can chuck it down the field a little more. See it through, boys. See it through. We've done it. We have done it yet again. Closing stage, done. Opening stage, done. I got my flip-flops on. This has been too easy. I'm ready for a bigger challenge. What are we doing next? Oh, my goalkeeper's the captain? Easy. Not for much longer, because he's probably going to be replaced in the transfer window. That's basically a priority. So is right back. We might drive this team deep into the red next year with money trying to win the Caribbean Cup. That might be the, the game plan as of right now. Because there's some gaps. It's going to be tough to compete with some of the top teams in Costa Rica. But we could maybe do it. So we do the double. Nellis, one of the, oh, I saw I said one of the only top American head coaches. Well, that might be true too. Fans worship me. I mean, wait, what? I don't need to see the timeline. What was I looking at? Oh, I thought it was, oh, Hall of Fame is what I want to look at. Hey, I made number 10 in the American Hall of Fame. We're catching up to Bruce Arena. Slowly but surely. We pay out a little money. So finances, yeah, we got 1.96 million. Transfer budget's the same. I haven't spent any of it. We should get a little chunk of money for some sort of sponsorship kind of deal, but we've lost a million this year. And most of that is down to staff, I think. And I've upped the wage bill a little bit. It was quite a bit lower than what it's at now. But the schedule coming up is World Cup squad announcement. Then our two friendlies and then our first game against Ukraine. We'll be back and it'll be all three games in the group as one episode to see if we can qualify out of group L. Hopefully it's not group three L's for Honduras, but it's going to be a challenge. But things are going pretty well in Honduras. I'm pretty excited about it. If jobs pop up, I'll probably keep applying for them, though, because I have no loyalty. It is a journeyman save, after all. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know who your favorite player was this season. And we'll see you at World Cup 2026 in America, Canada, and Mexico. Catch you next time.